Czech Ambassador Peter Gondolovic was happy to meet one of Rockville's canine officers. He was in Rockville to receive a certificate of appreciation from the city, recognizing the special relationship between Rockville and the Czech Republic. The relationship, of course, uh, is now uh, based on the dogs, <laughs> which may sound um, um, quite surprising for uh, your community, but I think that uh, it may not be the end of our relationship. We certainly may find uh, many other opportunities uh, for learning about each other. Corporal Heath Marshall and canine officer Boomer, along with Corporal Dickerson and Rocco, make up the city's canine unit. Uh, our canine unit uh, started uh, approximately seven years ago when Corporal Dickerson obtained the first dog, Rocco, who was from the Czech Republic. And about three and a half, almost four years ago, we picked up our second dog, Boomer, which I have, uh, also from the Czech Republic. Uh, and since then, uh, we've been going strong. His dog is patrol and narcotics trained, and Boomer is uh, trained for patrol and explosives. We obviously are pretty active at night. We do a lot of work where the guys, you know, it may not be a huge find or a huge bust of, of drugs, or, but anytime we find somebody out here, it, it's a time where the officers may have, but it would have either taken them a lot longer or they may not have found them at all. So, you know, and it keeps them out of harm's way. And I mean, obviously, anytime we can get any type of drugs off the street and out of our community, it's that's a good thing, too. The relationship started back in 2008 when representatives from the Czech embassy saw Rockville 11's documentary Canine Cops, an in-depth profile piece on the canine unit. Since that time, our canine officers have been invited to perform demonstrations at the embassy to inform the public about the program and its benefits. Here. To learn more about the Rockville Canine Unit or watch Rockville 11 Productions featuring the Canine Unit, go online to rockvillemd.gov police.